Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a few effects and one of them is from my Freak to Freak Out video and Things by Jesse uploaded a new video. Go check it out. <laughs> and it's this circle thing that is around me and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that. I'm also going to be giving you this picture thing and it is originally blue. It's originally that, and once I give it to you, you're basically just going to go to new, and so say you have a plain clip, and I just recorded this because, I don't know, okay, go, you would go to new, and re-effect, go to new effects, you would go to the banner, and scroll until you see, <laughs> scroll until you see user photo. And, and you're going to press pick photo. And you can take a screenshot of this. Or I'm just going to give it to you right now. So once you have it, you're going to press done. Can you see this? And then you're going to re-effect. So now you have this blue thing. And you're going to press new and re-effect and go to new effects go to the paintbrush tab and scroll, this is weird, I'm using my left hand and I, I'm right handed and scroll until you see hue, hue shift and to change the color you can change it, re-effect it with that color then take a snapshot or you can just do this so you don't have to keep re-effecting it and just make it like this and then take a snapshot of each color and then you can use that as a background and that's how you do that. So now this. You're going to record a clip like like this or whatever. It can be green screen, white wall, anything you want. Then you're going to go to new and multi-layer and set the back as a green photo and the front as a different color photo. And I'm going to do light blue. Okay. And now you're going to go to next. Go to shape. And go to the circle. And you should get that. And then create. Now you're going to either take a snapshot. Or just use the same exact color that you used. As the green thing. And like this. So now in the front should be that background color, and the back should be this clip that we made. Press next, go to shape, make it a circle, press next, and press the one button, this one, and adjust the size to make it a, a outline of a circle, and then create. Now that you have this, sorry it's like really like fuzzy and bright, I don't know. And then you're going to press multi-layer and set the back as just, what is this? No, let's just like go like that, whatever. And you're going to press color and hit all the green or whatever color you use as the background. Now you have this and you can like do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to make it turn, maybe make it go up, and go back down, and I'm going to make it not turn until that part. So I'm going to make this zero and adjust the size to 100 again. So this is also another thing I'm going to be doing a tutorial on later is lyrics and how to make them start when the lyrics, when the song says the actual word. And if you want to change the color of the outline of the circle, you can press solid color and then change it to whatever color you want. Okay, I don't know what that color is. And press create and then that is that effect. And now I'm doing a tutorial on this effect. 
And for some reason, I'm just going to use the blank green screen one. And then in the front, you have the back as whatever, whatever clip. Then the front as text. Um, and then choose whatever font you want. And whatever color, whatever. And then done. Press next. Next again. Hmm, maybe I should change this to actual word of the song. I'll be right back. Sorry, I just, I wanted to change it so it would be more, like, straightforward. Okay. Here we go. So first, change it, like, over here. Oh, I'm gonna, like, get rid of my notifications. Okay, now there shouldn't be any interruptions. Okay. So, what you're going to do is get your word out here. Because that's what it would be, anyways. And start it wherever you want it to come out from. Or if you have it on your hands or something like that. Which, I'm just going to go like this. So, here we go. So, you're going to move the lyric out of where you have it from. After the word ends. Like this. So, the word scream ended right here, right? And I'm just going to move the word anywhere I want. But it goes like this. Maybe you don't want it like that. So, now change it to wherever the... Okay, go to where the word starts. So, the word starts right here. Scream. It says scream. Like scr so, you're going to move this back. And now it won't start until in between here and here. And it won't move during this time. So you can do that with a bunch of lyrics and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that. And so once you have that, then press create and that, then you're done. So this is probably the simplest tutorial ever that I'm going to do right now. So say you bought the... The, um, HD, the HD one, if I can find it, right there, so say you bought that, uh, I guess I don't have those, okay, say you bought this, the HD pack, and you're like, well, I don't know how to make my videos in HD now, you would press this, and so it would be here before you do, do HD, but then you're going to change it to 720p. And cars are driving by. Okay. You're going to press OK, and now anything that you film after you change that will be in HD. So things that you did in the past won't be HD. Hi, you can kind of see me. <laughs> so my last tutorial is going to be on this effect, and it's not a video I've uploaded yet. It will be soon, like probably in, in like tomorrow or something. So that thing, where it, you, it breaks yourself. I know there have been tutorials on this, but I just wanted to do it just to clear up some things. So have your green screen clip, and excuse my hair, I look like Dorothy. Okay, you're going to go to New and Multi-Layer, and I'm just going to do it the way I will have it. Green photo, clip, so I would have it stand still if I were you. Oh. Okay. Basically what I'm talking about is like this. Go so you still have time for yourself to break. Let's go like this. So I'll break myself in between here. That sounds like so weird. I'm gonna break myself and create. So you don't have to have yourself zoom in, but I just want to. You can do whatever you want as long as you stay still while you're breaking. So once you have that, you're just going to go to multi-layer and set the back as the one that you just made and set the front as 
a green photo. So now you're going to go to next and go to shape and you'll start out with the star. Just go until you see a rectangle. Don't press this or anything. And press next. And put it so once you zoom in like whatever you did, put it in the middle of yourself. And then create. And now multi-layer and set the back as the one you just made and then the front as a green photo. And go to the square again. And go over here, over here. And basically move this so it's right colliding with the other one. Just like that. And then go back and set it as this, so it's not the one that's art that's covered on this side. It's the full one, like that. Oops. And then create. Go to new multi layer again. Yeah, I know this is long. Be patient. And the, set the back as a green photo and the front as one of the halves. I'm just gonna start with the first half first. Go to color. Do whatever looks right. So, yeah. And now you're going to wait until you're completely standing still. Okay. And go to rotation and make it zero. And now go all the way to the end. Make the rotation something like this. Turn up the size, but then go back here and make sure that the size is 100. So it only, so it's basically like the lyrics thing. And go all the way up, or whatever, and go out. You, could, you, don't, you don't have to change the size, I'm just doing it because it looks better. And make sure it's whatever you want. Ah! See? That will happen. That will happen. So you have to go like this. So it won't happen until that. Basically like that. I make no sense. Just try to get, just try to understand. Just try to understand. And create. Go to new, multi-layer, set the back as the one you just created that goes like this. And the front as the other half that is not moving yet. And yes, there will be a line in between, but we'll fix that. So. Make it so it goes at the same time the other one did. Right when you're not, when you're staying still. Okay. Rotation zero. Size 100. To the end. Size. I can't remember what I did last time, so I'm just going to estimate. And then go down. Put this back up. Uh, okay. Okay. And now it should look like, oh wait, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want curve path, curve pass. I want straight pass. Okay. Now I'm like really hyper. I'm sorry. Now I should look like this. And now to fix the line in between. Is this a bug? Oh no, it's just me. Really small. I thought that was a bug. <laughs> so Video Star just decided to crash when I was doing that multi-layer thing, so I had to redo it. Anyway, so once you finish it, you're going to go to new. Mix clips, go all the way down until you get to the last one. In the first clip, set the one without any of the halves below and the one that is like this. So ignore that I did that. And go to the one, the last one you created, the one that you has the half splitting apart. Clear all the transitions and put this slider all the way down. And now find when you start, when you know that you started to split yourself in half. And mix clips. I'm sorry if that doesn't make sense. But if you do it right, you should end up like this. I'm not spoiling this. Don't look. Also, here's a few tips. If you want to save space 
on your iPad or whatever you use to make. Look at what this number is. And make sure that all the clips are the way you want it. Because also save it to your camera roll before you do this. Because your whole video can be gone. You would go to... You would go in your clip and merge all the clips together. And it might turn out white. Because I've done it before and this is what happened. I'm holding on. Like really? So I really hope this tutorial helped you guys. And I really hope that this isn't really long. I'm sure it's long. I hope you didn't get bored and you stick through the whole video. If you did, please give this a like and comment um, something that you watched all to the end and I will like a few of your videos and you maybe comment on some and I hope this helped you as I said and I hope you have a fantastic super duper day and yeah. Bye guys!